Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Minister Robert Mixon coming before you once again in behalf of the Chirag Church of the Living God, located at 947 Beaver Dam Road. Part of our services, Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m., Fridays at 8 p.m., Sabbath School at 10.30 a.m., and afternoon service at 3 p.m. every Saturday. You're always welcome to join us in our worship services. Now the Bible tells us in John 8, 31 and 32, then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. Now notice it said if you continue. Mm -hmm. This is something that we must continue in. And the Bible said, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. And the Bible also tells in John 5 and 39. Search the scriptures. All right, get your Bibles and search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. In them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And they are they which testify of me. Matthew 4 and 4. But he answered and said, He answered and said, It is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. All right, by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And this will include the Old and the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Because Romans 15 and 4 says what? Whatsoever thing were written before time were written for our learning. All right, whatsoever thing were written before time were written for our learning. That we through patience, patience and comfort of the scriptures and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Might have hope. Now there is hope and comfort in the scriptures. The things that are written before time in the Old Testament as well as the new. That's why Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. All right. All scripture, everything that is written, it was inspired by God. And it's profitable for doctrine. This is the only thing profitable for doctrine. For reproof, for reproof, for correction, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, and instruction in righteousness. Now, we've been speaking to you concerning this time of the year. Amen. And, uh, the songwriter called it the most wonderful time of the year, mm -hmm. and in many ways, the songwriter is right. This is a very festive season of the year. Mm -hmm. However, when it comes to the people of God, then this season is not as they claim Jesus is the reason for this season. That is not true according to what's written in the scripture. And we prove that to you for Paul tells us to prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. Amen. And mainstream religion, what they're doing, they are following the tradition of men. But when it comes to Bible facts, these things cannot be proven. Jesus never celebrated his birthday. He never commanded that his birthday be celebrated. And the disciples never celebrated birthdays. All right. Amen. The Bible says you shall know the truth, and the uh -huh. truth shall make you free. And let's go to 1 Corinthians 13, and let us look at the sixth verse. And let us hear what thus says the Lord. 1 Corinthians 13, 
verse 6. And then a devil of operation. Rejoicing not in iniquity. All right, so here, this 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians is talking about love. Charity, yeah. which is love, the love of God. And, and the sixth verse said, Rejoice is not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. But mm -hmm. rejoice in the truth. So this time of year, there is a lot of rejoicing, but it's not in the truth. Amen. When you look at the Bible facts and you look at what's presented in the tradition, it's no more than a lie. And the Bible tells us not to rejoice in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Now, the Christmas celebration has come to an end. And the next thing in line, according to the tradition, is New Year's. Now, first of all, this time of the year is not the new year. Amen. Let us go to the book of Exodus. Now remember, uh, what's written was inspired by God. Everything that's written, all scripture. Exodus 12, 1 and 2. Let us hear what it says. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of month. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. All right, so this particular month that is spoken about here is the beginning of months, mm -hmm. which is, if you're going to call it the new year, this is the beginning of the month. What does it say? Speak ye to all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. Mm -hmm. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. All right, drop down to the 11th verse in that same chapter. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins guard, girded. With your loin girded. Your shoes on your feet. Mm -hmm. And your staff in your hand. And your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's Passover. So this Beginning of the month, this first month is in the same context as the Passover and the land of Egypt. And you Bible scholars know what your Bible says about the Passover and the land of Egypt. All right, so he said this month is the beginning of month, but it does not give us the name. Let's go to Deuteronomy. The 16th chapter, and let us begin at the first verse. Observe the month of Abel. All right, observe the month of Abel. And keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. All right, here again, it's talking about a month, and in the context with the Passover, what does it say? It's for the month of Abel, the Lord thy God brought you forth out of Egypt by night. All right. Thou shalt therefore sacrifice the Passover unto the Lord thy God. All right, so here in the book of Deuteronomy, it gives us the name of this first month, which is the month Abel. Amen. You know, so January is not the first month of the year, not according to God's sacred calendar. Uh -huh. Now according to the Gregorian calendar, January is the first month of the year. But now God's system is different from the system of the world. Mm -hmm. That's why 
It tells in Revelation 18. And let's begin at the first verse. Let's hear what it says. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, mm -hmm. having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, mm -hmm. Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen. He is fallen. He is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. Mm -hmm. And the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right, when you're talking about Babylon, you're talking about this world system. Man. And what does it say? For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All nations have drunk of the wrath of the wine of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. All right. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. All right. The merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, even this time of the year, the merchants are glad because there's more money spent during this time of year than any other time. All right, what does it say here? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. Come out of her. My people. My people. Talking about the people of God. That ye be not partakers of her sin. All right. And that ye receive not of her plague. All right. That you receive not of her plague. So we're trying to get you to see that the world has a system. Amen. But God's people are not a part of that system. So as far as the months of the year, the days of the week, they are different from the world system. Now, the Gregorian calendar was formed through the Roman Empire. Amen. And it was given, the months of the year were given names that represented out of God. Amen. Also the days of the week. All up under the Roman system. Mm -hmm. Daniel 7 and 25. Let us hear what it says. Now mm -hmm. remember, the Bible tells us that we should live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And let's back up 7 and 23, Daniel. Thus he said, Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. All right, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. Which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, mm -hmm. and shall devour the whole earth, and right. shall thread it down, and break it in pieces. So the Bible is letting us know the beasts that are spoken of in the book of Revelation represent kingdoms. Amen. So here it's speaking of the fourth kingdom. All right, what does it say? And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings. Ten kings. That shall arise. Uh -huh. And another shall arise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first. And he shall subdue three kings. All right, so if you look at history, if you will search your history books, you will find that the fourth world ruling kingdom was the Roman Empire. All right, what does it say? And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High mm -hmm. and think to change times and law. Now the Bible says think to change times and laws. Now, if you will search the history books, you will find that Constantine in 321 AD was the one that set Sunday worship in motion. Amen. And call it the Lord's Day. Mm -hmm. But it's not according to what 
written in the scripture. The Bible says, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. And says the Amen. seventh day is the Sabbath. Amen. So, said this empire would think to change laws and time. All right. And that has happened through the Roman Empire. But God's people will not be a part of this system. Amen. God's people still goes by the sacred calendar. Mm -hmm. All right, let, let's look again. Let's go to the book of Genesis, the first chapter. Genesis 1 and 5. The thing that were written before time were written for our learning. And God called the light day. Called the light day. And the darkness he called night. The darkness he called night. And the evening and morning were the first day. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So, you know, they're getting ready for the watch night service. Amen. Where they call watching the old year out and the new year in uh -huh. after midnight. But God never had another day starting after midnight. Amen. Amen. The Bible said the evening and the morning. The evening come first. Amen. Uh, this is God's system, not man. All right. Let's go again to the book of Leviticus, the 10th chapter. And let us begin at the 10th verse. Remember Revelation, come out of her, my people. If you are the true people of God, you will not be a part of this system, but a part of the system of God that's laid out in the pages of your Bible. Leviticus 10 and 10, what it says? And that you may put difference between holy and unholy. Put difference between holy and unholy. And between unclean and clean. Mm -hmm. And that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken to them by the hand of Moses. All right, so there is a difference between holy and unholy, clean and unclean. God's people are not like the system of this world, Amen. but are different. Ephesians 3, 9. Let us hear what it said. Things that are written aforetime, they were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope, and there's no hope and no joke. He said, you shall know the truth. Amen. Ephesians 3 and 9, let us hear what it said. And to make all men See, what is the fellowship of the mystery which... The fellowship of the mystery. Mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God. Mm -hmm. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. Now, if anybody know the system and what was created, Jesus Christ know it. Amen. Because all things was created by him mm -hmm. and yet the religious world are following things that are not written things that they right. cannot prove but there's a reason for it all Revelation 12 and 9 mm -hmm. there is someone behind all of this and the great dragon, the great dragon was cast out. Mm -hmm. That old serpent, that old serpent, called the devil, called the devil, and Satan, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. The Bible said he deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, mm -hmm. and his angels were cast out with him. And his angels were cast out with him, and the devil and the demons are the ones that are influencing. This world system, so that's why God commanded his people to come out. My time is out. This is Minister Mixon saying bye now, but tune in and we'll show you what according to the scripture was written that God's word is truth and every man is a liar. Amen.